against a ranked NorCal player and a bit of controversy there because, of, of course, it was an Arcadian and NorCal's PR hadn't come out yet. So a yeah, bit of sketchiness there, but nevertheless, Kiraflax was able to overcome it and take grants from losers. So excellent work to him. Yes, Kiraflax is a top player for a reason. He's able to take these tournaments. He's definitely getting his name out there. Kiraflax, I feel like Kiraflax winning uh, Thunder Smash Arcadian was motivational. Yeah, yeah, definitely was. I feel like I won. We all won. We all won. Did we win? I'm sorry? Did we win? Did we win? Uh, oh, no, but here comes Rock, Paper, Scissors. Oh. I'll have to see in a moment. I remember just being extra salty that night because I was, you know, I was one of the first people to just hop on that train and I got exactly one like. <laughs> From that tweet, so unlucky, never lucky. But shout outs to my dwindling fan club. <laughs> I mean, moving on forward here, Tater versus Kira trying to decide on what map to go on. Got the glasses push up from both these players, so hopefully, we get to see something out because Tater, both Tater and Kira, like I said earlier, have a pool of characters to use from. So, mm -hmm. it's definitely going to be interesting to see what characters they pull up first, certainly. Uh, Tater's pool, we haven't talked about as much. He does have, you know, I believe he's been using as many as three or four different characters within a single tournament very recently, so we'll have to see which one he goes. It might be the hero, as you said. It is. No, it is. It is going to be the junior. His main, technically. Wendy. Wendy. Yeah. You don't say junior, it's just what it it's is. two different characters right now, but both of them on their signature characters that they're both well known for, so hopefully Three, on the FDs, so one, we're gonna see a match. Yeah, excellent work. But just to start this off, a sweet 53% combo. Taternator. Yeah, but as soon as you say that, Kiraflax is fighting back, but unable to get much out of it. Tater's able to come out with the explosive he knew that Kiraflax was gonna go for a cheeky laser at the start. But actually! He made it back. He actually made it back. He just missed the tech, and we thought Bowser Jr. or Wendy rather had yeah. just drifted too low. But Taternator just fully exploiting the extent to which his up special reaches and makes it back as well. That savage spin out off stage, putting in work. He's able to get away from that. He's trying to use that Rob side special to catch something out, but Tater not letting him breathe at all. And that Nair forcing out a little bit, but thankfully that Kukuli does get him some breathing room, but. These fairs are demanding a lot of respect from Kira. Yeah, and we're going to see perhaps the arm rotor a bit more than normal within this matchup. Bowser Jr. does have good movement as Forza Loop with that car. Oh. Gets him with the neutral Did special he? as well. Taternator on fire, but finally see the arm rotor closing it out for Kira Flax. Did he just fully charge up that neutral special? Almost fully charge and just let it go. Tater's feeling himself. He really is. Yeah, he's really feeling himself. And you're gonna pull that stuff off right now in the bracket. And here we go. Kiraflax trying to catch it out using the down the side special, but forces him out into there. Unfortunately for uh, unfortunately for Tater, uh, Nintendo refuses to make down air a really good move to send them downwards. Probably not, but again, with the amount of just <laughs> hitboxes that move has and how long it lasts, that might be for the best. Able to get that damage out. That Nair was able to armor right through everything. Great usage of the empty hop, but here comes the grab. Unable to find any too much of a follow-up, but the re-grab actually. Kiraflax trying to get something down in the up air. Not going to take it just yet. This is FD after all. Yeah, excellent work from Taternator. Just knows how to DI the right way. It's very difficult because you have to SDI one way and DI the other. But on that uh -oh, final hit, Old Shield drops it just at the wrong moment. That might have poked instead, but Kiraflax, after a, a disappointing start, has brought this all the way back to last stock. He's definitely got a chance, but Tater's doing such a good job controlling this match. Is he even going to give him an opportunity? So much shield, so much uh, pushback from that F smash. So right now, Tater forced in a really uncomfortable position, but for 32%, even though he's got the advantage, he's still playing aggressive, but as soon as they say that, Kiraflax throwing out these projectiles, but the aerials from Tater are forcing him off. Yeah, excellent work. One thing we haven't seen from Taternator is hitting some of these Mecha Koopas. They're such a powerful neutral tool, and they can force Rob away from the areas you'd like to be in, but again, they do have to connect every once in a while to instill the fear. This time, the Mecha Koopa will latch on. It actually blew up! That yeah. second and last hitbox, I'm not sure if it would have killed otherwise, but just adds that little, that flair for the kill. And Taternator's Wendy going to take game one. Game one going already in favor of Tater. Great job by him, was able to control that match. Definitely that first stop was really impressive. Was able to force that stage by Kiraflux, unable to tech in that situation. 
And in stock number two, Cold has called out his defensive option super well. Certainly. Kiraflax, are we... Now, you know, you... You know, I am not in... I will not claim to be in Kiraflax's head, but if you are put yourself in Kiraflax's shoes, you have a dark pit at the ready. Would you counterpick? I mean... Hopefully he's got something to answer with. He's gonna stick with the Rob, because remember, Wendy is still vulnerable to these strings that Rob has. It was just the fact that Tater didn't let him start any combo whatsoever. Not at all. We're gonna see Town and City for game two. So, perhaps a bit of a change of venue here. Yeah, hope he's able to find something down up throw into these up airs are so fast, but unable to catch that tech right now. Yeah, excellent work. Just a moment ago, Tater converted off of Kira's gyro, so. Again, that showing that matchup experience, sending him one way and then the other, this lateral combo game for struggling these at low percent. They're not something you play so often. They're not something you're 100% used to, and yet Taternator, you know, it's looking like that's the thing he laps the most. He's able to do so much with it, and forcing him into these really uncomfortable positions. Back air, forcing him off, but he can grab the gyro, so it's going to cost a little more damage than usual, but here comes the Z-drop into it. Catches him out with an air once more, but speaking of that, Tater fighting back with his own. Forcing into these really bad situations and the up air comes out so fast for Wendy. Excellent work, just holding him right in time for that Mecha Koopa to come back and do its job. And there, he's right now he's off in a bad situation, but you can't use that size special that close. Yeah, just signs of frustration from Kiraflex as he jumps out and you see that arm rotor is good, but it's not 100% safe. It's safer, of course, than, you know, perhaps you might think, but... And it did, you know, receive a considerable buff from Smash 4, especially with the end frames, but you cannot throw it out just willy-nilly. Right now, Tater's doing such a good job evenly distributing these, uh, this, uh, the projectiles, but as soon as to say that, he's able to find his way out, but Tater taking some time to cool down because he knows, he knows well, but he's starting to get something down on Kira Flax, and remember Kira, definitely uh, an emotion-based character, an emotion-based player. He is. Uh, you know, as as cliche as the phrase momentum-based player is, Kira just r makes his own momentum with just the emotional roller coaster he puts himself through every match. Yeah, good or bad, that's the question we have to ask. And right now, Tater gets hit over the nair, but thankfully he's able to have a platform to tech in that situation. So he's able to get away with it. The gyro and the Mecha Koopa will clash, but the Mecha Koopa will charge forward. He's able to get away from it. The bear trying to get something down. He's got the gyro back in hand. Both these characters can throw out these projectiles. But here it comes, Tater. I like this I like this change of pace from Kiraflax. He's slowing the game place down, knowing that Tater was controlling the game for so long, but that Mecha could force him off into a really uncomfortable position position. That one almost fell following him off stage, and we're gonna see Kira go all the way underneath the, sta the stage on the platform. He knows that he's gonna get an off to a different area. So he's got a situation that Nair calls about a little more, but once more, Gyro in hand, laser pulling out, but the Mecha Koopa once more keeps calling him out with his damage. Right now, it's a trade of projectiles. Excellent work. Kiraflax just making up this percent deficit. That air dodge not helping this Kosko. Had the Gyro in hand. That was crucial. That could have been an edge charge from Taternator otherwise, but just throwing it up with only, you know, frames to spare of the berry into the up air. Good DI though able to survive, so Tater's gonna be okay. Remember, this is both of them are their second stock, but a lot of rage coming in from both sides, and he's gonna use these layered lasers to find a way out of it. Mecha Koopa not able to find his mark, but the gyro surely does. Both of them at basically even percent. Who's gonna take it? He goes for the grab, but the up smash that is not safe at all, and here comes the rotating arms into that down smash. Yeah, just a quick, let's go. Something I probably, you know, I probably won't repeat on stream, but here Flex pumping himself up. You know, we see some players do that between stocks. Very famously, Light just going with the, yeah. let, the let's go taunt. I think that's Kiraflex's IRL version of that. Mm -hmm. He's able to find something down there. The momentum surely seems to be working in his favor. Unable to find it just yet. And he's going to keep, he's just going to keep hitting him. So 178% laser actually not parried out. That's crucial. Remember, in this game, any percent counts. Yes, yeah, certainly. I think to the percent where, you know, there's not much in Wendy's kit that won't kill. And right now, Tater's starting to feel the pressure, it seems to say. Finally gets the percent, finally gets the stock, I should say, but Kiraflax is definitely feeling himself right now. He's able to get that narrow off 192. And can we just go back to a moment ago? He 
just held that up special a moment ago so that cart wouldn't connect. Just floats right over it, and now he has that punish on deck. The up air, those spinning arms, putting in the work for Hero Flax. All of a sudden, we're 1-1, one, one, we're going to game three. Definitely, like Kira feeling himself. You can probably hear it from here. The crowd definitely feeling it as well. Loving up your joy. He's loving up his gameplay. So Kira Flax, moving on to game number three, but Tater definitely felt overwhelmed in that last stop. He did. That was an entirely changed, entirely changed script from game one. Kira, you know, I doubted, I doubted the Rob in this matchup. I said maybe it's time to switch to the dark pit. Kira knew better. Just switched up his game plan a little bit. The change in stage tell. And we're going to go to Battlefield for Game 3. It's the third different stage of the set. This time, Kira Flax are going to have to adapt to a whole new set of platforms. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we say that, it's clockwork with Tater getting this early 52%. Yeah, excellent. That's something we've seen, I think, all three games so far. An early 50-plus percent combo from Tater on Kira Flax. Just not able to ride the momentum. Goes way off stage with the arm rotor. Just too low of a percent. But 15% more, that would have spelled the end. Not able to find anything. Here comes the up air. Great tech from Tater. He's able to get away from the danger. But the back air surely takes it. And he's unable to recover. Excellent work from Kiraflax and hyping himself out after that one. Just well spaced on the edge guard. Waits for the Mecha Koopa to come back. And that will put him right back off stage. The cannonball almost connecting. He goes to the down air. Uh -huh. He's able to recover successfully, but that Nair catching out a little more damage. 52. Here comes the fair trades. Unable to find anything out. Great parry, but Tater. I think Kira's words are definitely hurting him for a little more than it seems. Perhaps, but something that Kira's been doing a bit more often, and again, it's just the stage allowing for different possibilities, he's attacking through the platforms. He's platform trapping Tater. Tater can get, you know, solid 30, 40, 50% combos at a time, but Kira just not letting him get these started. Uh huh, and, these gy and the gyro play is something we're definitely seeing. A lot more use of the items. That is not safe at all, but he actually was able to get away with it. Yeah, second one, second up smash. Almost doing it. The Mecha Koopa will send him to the corner, and now he's just going to expend a bit more fuel to land safely. Mm -hmm, but the up smash catches it. Ow, oh, Tater, he's got something down. He tried to go for a taunt as well. He did. Definitely an entertaining match. He's able to get away with it. Remember, Kara's got to be careful because remember, Tater can fire back with 53% and we've seen right now. And here comes the bear. He's forcing him to recover super high. And here comes the grab. He's <laughs> Goes to the back throw instead of the no, bear. Interesting. That's confidence. That's calm. He's, he's, uh, he's basically trash talking Tater right now. He says that, yeah, I could have killed you with this down throw. But, but that back ahead. air will suffice instead. Kira Flax looking strong at the moment. A stock up. Only 58% on that second stock. Mm -hmm. He tries to go for the edge guard, so Kira, that back air does not find its mark. Empty hop into nothing. So he's going to be a okay down air, forcing him out. Tater in a really uncomfortable position himself. Up air, forcing him out a little in, but in a bad situation. He's able to shield it out. But that fair, this gyro play from Kira is, seems to causing Tater some problems. Yeah, excellent work. What a reversal from this game one. He's playing so much more confidently in neutral, and he's playing so much more safely in disadvantage. He's playing, you know, this is the leveled up Kira. This is the Arcadian winner Kira we're looking at. And he's chasing him so far. That's the confidence of both these players knowing their recovery, but the Nair is going to catch him out. Tater's got to be careful with these clown cards. He can't keep charging in. Mindless in here it comes. He's able to catch him out, so a little more damage, 15, 115%. I should say, Clown Car throwing out, no explosive damage just yet, but here it comes, he runs right into him. We are down to the last stock. Yeah, spins out and not a moment too soon. Taternator, you know, looked in a bit of a bother, but already making this percent back that down air will help his cause, as will his own gyro. Mm -hmm. And great air dodge get away from him for 39%. Remember, Tater, he's got something down. He's gonna force him in a really bad situation, but Unable to find it. That pressure is definitely going throughout the entire venue. I can feel it in my bones. And now we're seeing a bit of a crowd gather. We're seeing so many people just holding their breaths. That side B, that cart, not quite, but the clown cart. Once again, he keeps going for it. He's and now, all of a sudden, Haternator only 10% down. He's literally running him down, and the explosive clown cart's going to force him into a really bad situation. And here it comes the Mecha Koopa. The explosion not going to find its mark, but he's still got a gyro in hand. Laser catches him out for a little more damage, 100%. It catches him out once more. Gyro's causing some problems for Tater. Yeah, in just about 10 seconds, we're going to see a strong reaction from Kiraflex. Either way, this game goes. Just plays so much more safely. Going for the back airs, just not over committing. I know, but remember, Wendy's got some impressive kill power, so he's got to be careful. He knows he's going to go for the draft. Here he it does. comes back air, forcing him out. 98% on this Rob. 
back there. Yeah, just unfortunately glided back into the Mecha Koopa, and now no, you know, no amount of spacing can save him. Now another Mecha Koopa converting. He's throwing out tens of these on stage. And he actually caught out the roll, 135%. Already he caught it out there, but he's going for the edge guard. What's the option? Gets he rid catch. of it just in time. Kiraflax just on his last, you know, barely hanging on, hanging on by a thread. Last dog, last hit. Who's going to take it? 147%, 152. Tater and Kira are fighting it out. Kira just, card could be used. He's actually going to grab down. down this smash, is the down smash, though. Kiraflax, what are you doing? He's You're got, a madman. What's the edge guard situation? Kiraflax forced off stage. I think Mecha Koopa's going to force him off. What has Tater got? The Mecha Koopa found him. Is that it? It is. Kira just that close. But that Mecha Koopa just landed over and over and over again and just trapped him, put him into a corner, had no place to go. Kira obviously ticked off at that. Just so, what a rush, what an ex, you know, pun absolutely intended, but what an <laughs> explosive way to end that set. <laughs> Those are the matches I want to be casting our entertainer. No doubt. But remember, did the BM, did the BM cost him? I don't think so. It just got to a point where he hadn't been, you know, trapped off stage that hard in no, the set before. No, because remember, he could have closed